Did you know there's actually some animals that defy evolution? It may not be too common for us to think there's actually animals that defy evolution. After all, the way that we're taught today, evolution is a fact, right? Or at least a well-established theory. Well, the problem is, it isn't. Let's look at a passage in Job 7-10 through that encourages us to look at animals to see God's attributes. But ask the beasts, and they will teach you. The birds of the heavens, and they will tell you. Or the bushes of the earth, and they will teach you. And the fish of the sea will declare to you, Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord does this? In his hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. So we're going to take a look at a couple of animals that defy evolution. Let's look at, first off, the hummingbird. There's no way that this little bird could have evolved. Just look at the complexity at which they live. It's the smallest bird in nature, and it weighs less than one-tenth of an ounce. They fly backwards, forwards, sideways, and hover midair. Their wings beat 80 strokes per second. And their heart beats 1,000 times per minute. Their metabolism is so fast that they must feed constantly in order to live. And unlike other animals, hummingbirds go into a state of hibernation every single night. That couldn't just happen. They were divinely created by God to be just how they are. Let's look at another animal, the woodpecker. Now, no, we're not just going to look at birds today. But the woodpecker, again, is one that defies... Evolution. Here's some facts on it. They have two powerful claws in the front and back of each foot that anchor them to a tree. They have a beak that is much harder than other birds, and their skull has a cushion between the brain and the bone so that they don't damage or knock their brain loose when they're pecking. Their tongue is four times longer than their beak. It is barbed and coated with a sticky sub substance that attracts and catches bugs. They have tail feathers that are unusually stiff and provide stability when climbing and pecking at that tree. It's, their smell and sense of hearing is highly sensitive and able to hear bugs crawling underneath the bark. And they peck between 1 and 600 times per minute. No natural bird would be able not to brain, uh, bang their brain loose from pecking that fast. The woodpecker points to somebody creating it. Same thing when you look at the giraffe. Now the giraffe may seem like an interesting creature, but they certainly defy evolution. They have a unique system that pumps their blood and a unique system to breathe. They have an extra long, large heart that can pump the blood up their very, very long neck. As a matter of fact, their blood pumps two times stronger two times the intensity of most animals. By the time the blood arrives at the brain, it is normal pressure. Look at all the precision. There's no way this could have evolved. Since the blood pressure is so high in the rest of the body, God has given the giraffe a special skin to tolerate the blood pressure, especially in the bottom of their legs. There is a special series of one-way check valves up the long neck to keep the blood pressure from bursting vessels as it quickly moves up towards the brain. They also keep these valves, they also keep the blood from flowing backwards quickly as the giraffe lowers its head to drink water. Giraffes have a network of spongy tissue at the base of their brain to soak up any extra blood that makes it up there. And they have extra large lungs and breathe slowly so that the air has time to travel up their long neck. Now here's the last animal we're going to talk about. This one puzzles all evolutionists. There's no way they can explain it. Just ask an evolutionist next time you see them. It is the platypus. A platypus? What, what do you mean? How would that animal defy evolution? Well, let's think about it. It has a bill like a duck and it has hair like a bear. Its earliest discovery was in Australia in 1797. It has webbed feet like an otter and a tail like a beaver. It has poison like a snake, and it lays eggs like a turtle and feeds its young like a mammal. It has memory glands. It only grows to about 18 inches in length, 
That's not very big when it's fully matured. They have sonar, literally electric sensors in their two inch leathery snout so that while they're swimming at night, they can detect the faint electric waves produced by their prey, primarily shrimp and earthworms. The problem is that evolutionists say that the platypus evolved from the rat. How could a fleshy nose turn into a long leathery bill? How could electronic sensors just appear when they didn't exist? God designed on purpose every single aspect of the platypus. They have a little uh, barb on the back of one of their feet, which literally has the poison of the snake. They are very poisonous animals. You wouldn't think that. They have a tail that looks like a beaver. They look kind of like a duck in, the, in their bill. But, and they have hair like a bear, webbed feet like a duck. They don't seem to fit in anything. The platypus is God's gift. It's an animal that defies evolution.